using what he believes is the truth about UFOs. I needed to get into the government and I needed to find the people that deal with this subject and let them know what I'm thinking of doing. DeLong says he was able to secure a meeting with a high-level aerospace executive with deep connections to the military. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had an opening. And I just go, I am not naive to this subject. I understand the national security implications of this subject, but I am asking for your help because I need guidance. I just need somebody to help me and give me advice. And he leans back and he goes, okay. That's when my life changed completely. Soon, DeLong was covertly communicating with powerful people, including General William McCaslin, the former head of a billion-dollar Air Force research lab, and John Podesta, the former presidential advisor who once said his biggest regret in the White House was not releasing the government's UFO files.